Hello BP fans, you join us at Siren's Sister. It's the Cotswold Show. Now, this is a bit like, the best way to describe it is, have you ever seen Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Way Rabbit? Well, you know the village fair that they have on the fancy estate with the rabbits? It's kind of like that. We've got all the usual things going on behind us. There's the main arena, that's the tower. And there's all the stalls and everything. And there's our trucks and then, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, there. That is a statue on a plinth, very large plinth, because it's far away. It's not small, it's far away. And then all the way that way, I'm going to rotate the camera for you to see, is the grand estate of where we are. Over in front of us, down this avenue of trees, which was often the way with the gentry, is the grand old house of the what's called the Bathurst Estate and then perfectly in view and symmetrical with everything is the statue on its plinth up there with some Earl of Bathurst so there we go it is about an hour before showtime I'm not going to mention the W word, I'm sick of mentioning it because it seems to be all I ever talk about is the W word. Well, it's, you can draw your own conclusions with the attire that we are all supporting and the roads network which is sort of behind and in front of the trucks as to the conditions we are currently experiencing in the height of British summer. So let's see what this video brings. We've already had our sandwiches so no filming of the food for you like those that watch us, the cooking channel. So because this is a, a agricultural show what that means is we have to fly in to an open field with nothing in there and then we have to set up the arena with the scrap cars and then fly out all within 40 minutes and so let's up greenfield to greenfield and what we're just about to do now is we're literally just about to go into the arena i'm in the forklift so there's a driver swap in front of me we've got the two monster trucks ready to go they're going to go into the arena i've got the tug of war with the chains ready behind me is another forklift with the fronts so once i get into the arena this this guy is going to drop off the cars into the arena and then I'll do the setup. I'll try and show you as much as I can, but I think it might be interested to show that from a empty field to performance to empty field, how we do things. So uh, let's see how things pan out. So we're just pulling in now, following the trucks in. As you can see, an open bare arena, ready to set up and get ready. So I'm going to drop this tug of war down out of the way and then help the team get ready. So three of the cars are in position, I'm just about to pick up the fourth and final one. The tug of war is over there, I'll move, be move that. But I can't drive and film at the same time, so you can't see my amazing forklift skills. There you go, I've got it picked up and I'm going to swing it now into position. I like to just have it skirted just off the ground so it's always pushing into the tines. And then hopefully I don't lose it by some filming. And then I swing it into position. Trying to keep it as square as I possibly can. Again, I'm going to have to turn off so you can't see my amazing skill as a forklift driver. And there you go. And I'll put it in position. There we go, all set up within about 10 minutes, 20 minutes to do the show, 10 minutes to pack up, that's our 40 minute slot. The reason One of the jobs got to do as a forklift driver is I've got to run out and uncouple the half cars. If you've seen the routine, you'll know we pull a car in half and then drive around. And then my next job is to sit here and watch this show, listen to the commentary, and make sure that the cars are level. And if the driver is happy, 
So this should be level. So he's out there. What can happen is one of what we call the stacks, one side may move. So I've got to come in with the forklift and just push either side in. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. If those cars have moved now, I'll go and just line them up, straighten them up. But it's up to the driver to, to let us know. Paul's just going underneath to check the truck. We always do this, so Michael is aware that there's a driver under there. We have an entire procedure all about that. If you're watching this, you're going, oh my God, there's a... So that truck will not move until he gets eye contact with the grounds crew. We just make sure that the truck is ready for a second jump. That's all it's about, make sure everything's attached. So, just a quick look around, and then a thumbs up, and at that point he moves. So, now we watch Grim Reaper come in, and if he needs me to move, I'll go and move them. So Andrew now will drive up to the cars, Make sure he's lined up. Decision was made based on the fact that when jumping across the hill, the trucks will and it's on board looking a bit uneven, but he's going to make that decision. So, what we're looking for now is that the two front wheels need to drive together. We're looking for a thumbs up from the driver. If not, That's what we're waiting for. Looks a bit out, but he. So I've just lined them up now, and hopefully Andrew, when he hits them, will hit them and fly nice and level. Looks good. Right. I don't think he'll be particularly happy with himself with that. But if you look, that master's holding up. Two trucks have gone over that. And repeat. So Michael's happy, and now he's going to go and hit them. Three, two, one, here we go! Oh, he went sideways with it! Oh. <laughs> what I've also had to do is I've had to push in the uh, A and B pillars, the roof would collapse, or so just push them down and that has done. Here it goes. I'm sure it's going to hit it harder. I can hear it already. Oh, beautiful. Just needs to go through a bit more. And round of applause and then strip down. And that's the left rest over of the team just doing the glass back. And we've returned that to open field. I've got the last half of a car. The two monster trucks are imminently going to follow me out. And that is how we go from Greenfield Shore to Greenfield in 40 minutes. Well, that's it here from Siren Sister, the Cotswold Show, possibly our podcast show. Until next time, we love you and goodbye.